Getting COVID-19 shots into Americans' arms represents the largest mass vaccination program in U.S. history. And one of the keys to the vaccine, the syringes made right here in North Texas. Jack Fink got exclusive act, uh, access to the factory that is producing them. Tucked away in a Little Elm neighborhood. We're a proud Texas company and we're happy to be able to not only serve Texans, but all Americans. Workers in this manufacturing facility have been producing syringes for nearly one year that are used in Pfizer's and Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine. And the needle will automatically retract. Retractable Technologies Incorporated and its Vanish Point retractable syringes provide extra doses of the vaccine, up to 20% more compared to most other syringes. RTI says pharmaceutical companies overfill the vials because most syringes have what's called dead space, which leaves extra vaccine behind that cannot be used. But Catherine Duesman, vice president of clinical affairs at RTI, says because of their syringes design, it can retrieve that extra dose from the vial. How has this changed the face of the vaccine program? More people get shots, and that's what's so important. Duesman, who's also a registered nurse, says their syringes are safer because the needles automatically retract after delivering the vaccine. There's no chance for any healthcare worker or anybody to get stuck with that needle. RTI CEO Thomas Shaw invented this type of syringe after reading an article during the HIV crisis that a doctor was stuck with a contaminated needle and contracted the virus that causes AIDS. He built this factory in 1996. The company provided its syringes in 2009 for the federal government's vaccination program for H1N1, also known as the swine flu. In early 2018, U.S. Health and Human Services contacted RTI. What kind of lessons did we learn in H1N, H1N1? How can we do better the next time? And everybody knew there would be a next time a public health emergency would happen. Nobody knew it would be 2020. Early last year, the federal government reached out to RTI again. Last May, the company received an $84 million contract for hundreds of millions of syringes and began shipping them in June. Uh, I think the government was very forward-thinking. RTI is now ramping up production of syringes even more. They are in the process of building a second manufacturing facility. RTI employs 186 people, nearly 50 more than in May of last year and they're still hiring. She says she and the company are happy they've been able to contribute to this necessary fight against COVID-19. The more shots in arms, the safer we all are. And the fact that we can get on with, with living our lives, our syringes contribute to that. In Little Elm, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Texas proud, right in our own backyard.